hi guys it's me um i have never filmed a video like this before this actually had some planning i actually made a list this is my first video that is not a vlog <laughs> you guys should be proud of me um basically we're going to be talking about some self-care things that i use that have literally changed my life so we'll just jump right into it first thing that has completely changed my life and it's the most recent thing that i think i've bought second recent thing that i've bought that has changed my life these these are reflexology sandals my boyfriend is obsessed with reflexology he would like go outside and stand on rocks and he said it would make him feel better. So I started doing some research and it's true. And I found these sandals and I bought them for him. So when you step on these sandals, they, these little like things, they go down and they kind of twist and it hurts for like the first few days. Um, and then you just start to feel so relaxed and so light on your feet. I've been doing it 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes at night. As soon as I wake up, I put these on, I go brush my teeth, I put my creams on, wash my face. That usually takes like 10 to 15 minutes. And then I do the same thing at night. As soon as I get out of the shower, I just throw these on and I get in bed and before my legs would feel like heavy and my feet would feel like tense. And now they don't feel like that at all. It just feels light and like, massaged I'm sure there's a better term but these have really changed my life so I bought them for my boyfriend and then I liked them so much that I bought them for myself they do hurt in the beginning so the instructions and recommend that you like start with five minutes a day work yourself out to ten minutes if you're a masochist and you like pain <laughs> then just put them on for half an hour and you will feel the difference so self-care tip item number one that has like really changed um, my life item number two I've had a soap pillowcase now for probably a few years I have three different ones my hair has completely changed before I would wake up and my hair would be like staticky and all knotted this is not only good for your hair but it's also really good for your skin I'm not exactly sure the terms and the terminology, but look it up on Google if you want to find out more about it because it's really good. I started doing cupping to my face um, a few days ago, but I have been doing gua sha for a long time. This is my rose quartz gua sha, and when you wake up in the morning, basically your skin you have like these lymph nodes here that act as a filtration system so your skin is absorbing a lot of water and that's why you wake up puffy gua sha is basically when you grab this thing rose quartz whatever type of stone there's a bunch out there and you strain out the water in your skin if i do one side of my face and not the other you will literally see my deformed face because you will literally see like this side being like all like tight and then like a huge like ball on this side. So I do this every day in the mornings and goodbye to super puffy cheeks, goodbye to super puffy like down here. I've always had this down here, but like it's actually helped a lot. So that cupping is the other thing that I started implementing just this week. And it's changed my life um, you can only do this once or twice a week do your research because there's if you do this wrong like you could end up bruising yourself and that's really bad you don't want to do that so cupping is they I have seen people do it like on their backs and stuff but I decided that I wanted to try doing it on my face there's some really good tutorials I just got these off of Amazon they were like ten dollars came with these two with these two and it came with like a little silicone brush and I have it in my bathroom you just press let go and move up your face I did this on Wednesday or Tuesday and I literally saw results 
like my skin was brighter and I haven't seen like acne go away or anything like that but that's what it does over time to remove toxins from your skin concentrates the blood and, and all the good cells in like the areas that you put this on but again do be careful because you can't if you do it too hard and if you leave this on one spot of your face for too long you can bruise yourself so you're always supposed to like keep it in motion you're supposed to have clean you know just have cleaned your skin cleansed it and then you use like a special oil so cupping and gua sha gua sha you can do every day cupping you cannot again if you're gonna buy any of these things i just suggest that you do a little bit of research i know i have because self-care is good but if not done right you can definitely hurt yourself and it can be the opposite this is a tongue scraper i have had this for years it's actually this one and i'll i'll put a description or a link down below in the description so that you can click on it this has a lifetime warranty it came with two so i think i gave the other one to my sister but this is a tongue scraper you brush your teeth you should be flossing and then your tongue just stays like with all this gunk and dirt. So our tongues should not be white or yellow. When you stick your tongue out, now everyone's gonna be looking at my tongue. <laughs> and when you stick your tongue out, your tongue should be pink. It should not be any other color. You stick your tongue out and put this as far back as you can and scrape your tongue and all the gunk just kind of like collects right here on the inside. Then you rinse it and you do it a few times um, a night. I've been doing this for a while now, but my boyfriend, I recently made him purchase this. Um, not because he has bad breath, but yes, this does help you have better breath. Um, just because I was like, this is going to change your life. You need to buy it. He bought it and he was like, yo, I am tasting things like so much better. And it's true. Like you're removing gunk, you're removing dirt. You're going to have much better breath. Do your research on this you can do it every day obviously I do it every night before I go to sleep I've been working on the computer a lot more since this quarantine thing has happened and coronavirus and stuff and I've been on my phone a lot more just because I've had to work from there so I switched my MacBook and my iPhone to night shift mode which is basically when they when you just like turn down the harsh light the harsh blue light on your devices um and i have that on 24 7. i have it on all the time i don't think you can actually put it for 24 7. i think you like you have to leave it like one minute it doesn't let you do 24 hours so i have like 11 59 to 12 a.m where it like turns off and then it resets but i've also these are some blue light glasses that help with the harsh rays from your computer or your phone but sometimes I will just pop these on and use them while I'm on my laptop and it protects your eyes from technology. So consider doing that. I've done it. Do your research again. Like I said earlier, it's amazing. Blue light glasses. Okay, this is like a self tip. I don't even know which number, but I'll put the number somewhere on the screen. I bought a back brace, a back trainer this basically you put it on there's tape that can do this too which i found out after i bought this um but you put this on and it makes your shoulders go like that and that's how i really should be but i'm always like this because i have bad posture so <laughs> if i'm not wearing it i usually go like this over time if you wear this for like a week or so you will see that your body starts to self-correct itself because of the muscle memory do your research. <laughs> um, I highly suggest this if you have bad posture. I've had bad posture apparently my whole life and I noticed it one day when I wore like a strapless dress and I just looked terrible in it and it was because of my posture. So I got one for myself, I got one for my boyfriend as well and we both have bad posture but we are both working on it. This was from Amazon, it was 15 bucks and it also came with like these little things that you like hold and then like you stretch with your arms and whatever it's a workout thing there was another one that i bought and i'm not gonna lie we did not like it i spent like double the money and it was just really uncomfortable so this one is i don't know if you can see but the material is like stretchy it has velcro so you can adjust it um i got myself medium i think i could have done small but medium still works this has changed my life 
vitamins. There are so many people I know that do not take their vitamins and it really stresses me out. Um, if you're not on a super, super strict diet, there's a good chance that you're not getting all the vitamins that you need. So I think this goes without saying, but people take your vitamins. It's changed my life, blah, blah, blah. Take your vitamins. I have them right next to my bed. So I spend a lot of time because I work from home now. I spend a lot of time in my room. So I just see them. They're on my night table and I just pop them in. I try to do it like around lunchtime, same time every day. And um, it goes without saying, take your vitamins. I have recently invested in some wireless bras. I did my research, ladies. Not only are they uncomfortable, but they're actually really, really bad for you. So these are all, all my bras have been Calvin Klein. They give me just enough support so I still look like I have boobs. Um, and they're not uncomfortable. And they're like, I have one on right now and I'm just really comfortable. So that's, there's a bunch of different um, styles that they have. This one I bought and I didn't really love it because I don't really have, um, I'm not really blessed in that region, so I do need some type of padding. Um, and then this one actually is my favorite. So, um, Calvin Klein has been the best, but I'm sure there's other brands out there that do not have wire, wire on them. Um, do your research like I said a thousand times, and get yourself a bra that is not going to give you breast cancer. I think that sums it up. Last thing is actually really heavy, so. <laughs> this is a weighted blanket. I say like, oh, I suffer from anxiety, but yeah, I, I, as soon as I get in bed, like I start, my brain starts thinking and it takes me a long time to fall asleep and if there's any little noise in the house I wake up instantly. Someone gifted me this and it has really changed how I sleep. I try to sleep without it and it's like I can't anymore. This makes you feel like you're being hugged and um, there is a, psycholog a psychologist that talks about, there's a few psychologists that talks about this. So if you struggle with sleeping, have a weighted blanket, um, try it out. There's some on Amazon that are pretty cheap that you can get that are pretty good. This one is 15 pounds, hence why <laughs> I can barely lift it, but it's really good and it's changed my life and I sleep so much better. I wasn't planning on talking about this, but I just looked over and saw it now. This is melatonin. I take this when I know that I'm going to have a hard time falling asleep. Like if I'm not exhausted, then I usually don't fall asleep very quickly. So not that I'm taking this every night, but on those nights where I'm like, you know what, I need to sleep well and I have a long day tomorrow, I do take melatonin at night and it has immensely helped along with my weighted blanket. So that concludes my self-care help video. Everything that I showed was less than a hundred dollars. Like I didn't spend a lot of money on any of these things. I think the most expensive things were the sandals, which were like 25 and the bras, which were also like 25 each. Um, other than that, these are little things that you can get. The tongue scraper is literally like 10 bucks. So little things that can make a big difference for your health for your mind, um, for your emotional well-being and all of that. So thank you for watching this channel. Love you. Bye guys.